Warsaw is the capital city of Poland with over 1.8 million residents. Despite its recent negative press, Poland is a major cultural, political, and economic hub. During our stay, we took up residence at the Five Star Bellato Hotel. We paid less than 100 euros a night for our suite, and we were very impressed with the value for money. If you're staying at a three- or four-star hotel in central Warsaw, you can expect to pay anywhere from 40 to 70 euros per night, making Poland a premier budget location. Whenever I go to a new city, I always do a free walking tour. These tours are led by locals and there is no set price for a ticket. However, you do tip your guide at the end of the tour based off of your financial ability, enjoyment, and discretion. I've been to Momu restaurant a few times now and I always enjoy their changing menu and wonderful cocktails. Momu is a mid-range restaurant so you can get great food at a reasonable price and it's right next to the old city so you can enjoy the local nightlife right after dinner. This is a fantastic place for brunch, even though I can't pronounce the name. This is my favorite spot in Warsaw, but there are no bathing suits allowed, so good luck. This food hall has loads of international food options to choose from if you ever want a break from pierogies. The Alchemist is centrally located and has a wonderful date night vibe with interesting cocktails. And then of course, you should end your evening with some vegan ice cream. Known for its beautiful architecture, Warsaw was actually bombed and flattened during World War II, so most of the architecture is relatively brand new. Nevertheless, Warsaw's historical Old Town has been designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and Warsaw is nicknamed the Paris of the North. When creating a budget for your trip to Warsaw, you can easily enjoy food, activities, and premium accommodation for less than $100 a day per person. But let me show you my favorite budget buster. Every time I've come to Warsaw, I've always made time to stop at Stary Dom Restaurant. It's a traditional Polish restaurant that serves generous portions with incredible flavor. Be sure to get the steak tartare, you won't be sorry. One great thing about Warsaw is the fact that it's so walkable. You can have a stroll through the old or the new part of the city and find something unique to do by chance. But heed this warning. The restaurants and bars by the most touristy locations will never be the best quality. There's an inverse relationship between the view and how good the food is in any tourist hub. When we were in town, a huge military event was also taking place at the same time. There were military paraphernalia everywhere, and for some reason, even the American army was passing out autographs. Warsaw regularly hosts outdoor events, and I would encourage you to align your visit with a local festival because they are quite the sight. For anyone nervous about their first trip to Poland, I can say with certainty that I've always felt very safe in Poland. Even as a solo female traveler, I've never had any issue in the major cities, and I've always felt very safe at night. Gdańsk is a port city on the Baltic coast of Poland, and it's best known for its beautiful facades and architecture. 
Gdansk is relatively affordable to fly from from most major European hubs, so it's an ideal location for a quick weekend getaway. This time, we actually drove from Berlin to Gdansk, but I've seen flights for as little as 25 euros from London. I would recommend that you stay in the old town of Gdansk so you can be right in the heart of all the action. You can expect accommodation to cost you anywhere from 30 to 80 euros per night for a three or four star accommodation, which is an absolute steal. While we were in town, we mostly explored the city on foot and enjoyed window shopping throughout the old town. If you're looking for something more touristic, I would recommend the talkative free walking tour. You can find it on Google Maps or the freewalkingtour.com company. In my opinion, you come to Gdansk to stroll and enjoy the atmosphere. There are several amber and precious stone shops, food tours, and bars to enjoy, but I don't know if there's a single iconic tourist attraction that you just can't miss out on. That being said, the city is definitely packed with history and it's very family friendly, so I would still recommend. Meals in Poland are relatively affordable if you're used to big city prices in London and New York. We spent an average of 10 USD per meal with a drink included. Poland is very much known for its sausage culture, so we decided to put a spin on things and go to the Hot Bear Fusion restaurant. I would definitely recommend. While you're in town, you just can't miss the international dumpling restaurant Perogi Genera Manu. It was definitely worth the wait, but I would recommend ordering the Polish dumplings as the international ones were made with noticeably different ingredients, which kind of threw the experience. If you're traveling with a large group or small children, Gdansk is a wonderful location to make your budget go farther and to find something that interests everyone. Don't forget to pick up some legendary vodka while you're in town. If you liked that video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.